What up everybody, it's Chad Wood and I'm gonna show you the fastest way to make a music video preview optimized for Instagram, like they do on World Star Hip Hop and stuff like that. On some boss shit, need a boss bitch, hurry. Got the draw fix, cause I brought shit early. Smoking dody, 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 bitch, you know me, know me, know me. So let me go ahead and start with this screen recording. We're gonna open up Premiere Pro, a new project. We'll call it IG Preview Tutorial. Okay. Now we're gonna go to File, New, Sequence. Um, I usually like to keep it on the 1080p, 24 frames per second, but then we're gonna go into Settings and reset the frame size. Uh, so for Instagram, you wanna have, everything's in square, so you wanna have, you know, take up the most real estate possible. So we're gonna make it 1280 by 1280. Go ahead and hit OK. Then we can start importing our files. I'm gonna go ahead and import a file, um, a music video that I just did for my boy Dubs. I'll link it in the description below. Go here, let's find it real quick. Okay, import that in there. You can drag that into the timeline, and I like to put it at the third video section to start out with. Um, it'll bring up this little dialog box that says the clip doesn't match the sequence settings. That's okay. Keep the existing settings. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into this. Click on that uh, video file we just brought in and bring the scale down. It's somewhere around 67. I don't know if that's going to be the same for everything. Um, but it, if your video file is 1080p, then it should work like this. 67 should be the right one. It'll put it right in the center and have the edges right on the edge there. Alright, and now the next thing we're going to do is import a picture file. So let's go ahead and find a picture to use. These images that we're going to use here are going to be for the top and bottom bars on the preview. So you could do, you could have a little bit of creative, um, you know, flow with this so you could go and you could do the same two images on the top and bottom every time for all your videos and make it consistent like that if you want or what I like to do is take like a screen grab from the video some cool part of the video and then use that screen grab on the top and bottom bars um, so I've already taken a couple screenshots uh, we'll go ahead and do this one here we'll import that drag it into the timeline we're going to click on that file that we just brought in and scale it to frame size. Then we'll go into the effects tab and bring the position down. And since the video file is on top, it'll always stay behind the video file. So you won't even have to worry about resizing it or anything like that. Just put it where you want to. Uh, now you can hold down option and click that video file and or the picture file and just bring it down and it'll create a duplicate copy of it now click that second video file and bring it up Whoop, going the wrong way all right there you go you that's pretty much the basis of it right there that's as simple as it is um, now you can just add like your titles and stuff into the top and bottom and you can get creative with this. This is just going to be really simple just to show you what you can do. Put that in there. You can put logos in. I got a little YouTube logo. Let's try to find that. I like to put the YouTube logo down in the bottom so that they know where to go if they want to see my stuff. put that there click on that clip go ahead and rescale it bring it down move it over a little bit then you could add the title or um, some text to put in your YouTube channel go ahead and go to graphics bring the size down and obviously that's just a really oversimplified way of doing that. You can add logos on the bottom, the title on the top. You can do all kinds of things with this to make it your own. 
Oh, and one last thing too. Obviously, you want to take these all these picture files that you use on top of it and stretch them out to be the entire length of however long you want the preview to be. Obviously, I'm not going to do the preview as the whole two minutes. I usually keep it somewhere around 30 seconds or so just to give them a little snippet of what they're able to see and then makes them go see the video. So anyway, that's the quickest way to make a music video preview optimized for Instagram. Don't be watching these videos that are 10 minutes long. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes tops. Peace.